drawn cut out things here okay just uh, let's see this in nx now okay so this is my drawn cut out example so let's expand this and i just created these two so now you have one tab and some flanges we have created and now we need to create a drawn cut out here say make current feature drawn cut out so command is available here it just cuts the area whatever or wherever the sketch is available or the boundary is available and there it just cut it okay what it needs it needs just the cross section the cut cross section okay take the plane so i'm going to create it here and then now we have to create the boundary for our normal cutout, for our uh, drawn cutout, okay. So normal cutout is different. This is called drawn cutout. So this is a drawn cutout, and you can see the depth here and which side uh, the material is getting removed, okay. So drawn cutout. So I can even create a circular uh, sections also here. So I go again, select the base uh, surface, and then the. So now I just want to make a cut in a circular form. So now, so this is drawn cut out so now the next thing is uh, in a cylindrical bend area if you want to make a, a drawn cut out what will happen okay that is our uh, next case let's see that the next one to end uh, i just deactivate this uh, go back to this and this is my next case uh, that is if the uh, the drawn cut out is available on the uh, the bend areas and uh, how we can create these type of shapes in the sheet metal. So to do that, so what we need to do is we need to first unbend this. So after creating it, okay, so let me delete it, create it for you. And uh, what I have done is I just created a sketch here with uh, some line and then arc and a line. And then I have taken a command contour flange. You can find here contour flange and here you will have option of base so once you select the base it just asks select the curve you need to just select this curve so that uh, the geometry will be created uh, so this is my sheet metal geometry and now we can unbend this so just say unbend it's asking stationary which one you want to keep stationary and what are the bends you want to consider and bend now so after unbending you have to just create the profile for the drawn cutout so take the drawn cutout command and then uh, select the plane or face here after the unbend and then just draw the shape how you want to create it okay the shape you have to create it now you just see the profile got created and now you have to bend it back so that is called rebend so just say rebend and just select the the bend area got uh, the the shape got the shape and in the during the rebend and you can see this is the result so the workflow is uh, first we need to create the contour flange right contour flange and then we have to unbend it and then we have to make a cutout the drawn cutout again you can rebend it so that is how we have to work when we want to create a, a drawn cutout exactly on the bend areas okay so the next topic in our uh, punch is uh, normal cutout so basically we will do the cut normal to these flanges okay if you do only uh, extrude cut for example what will happen whatever uh, sketch profile is available the sketch plane no normal to that sketch plane only your uh, extrude will go but in this case if you see if it is a normal cutout in sheet metal what will happen is it will go along the flanges and it will make the cut uh, let's see how it is uh, applied in the sheet metal so then you will get a clear understanding uh, the difference between the extrude cut and the uh, normal cutouts and or simply remembering uh, whenever we do uh, cut out in the sheet metal always you have to go with normal cutout that is the best uh, recommended one not the extrude cut because extrude cut won't follow the sheet metal uh, characteristics like bending k factor and all those things okay right so in this case if you see um, we have a component like this intersecting parts this is one uh, hole there and there is a tube going there or a pipe going there so here you see there is a uh, i need a cut out here at this exactly at this intersection area so in this case what we will do is we will uh, get an intersection curve here and uh, use those intersection curve to make the cutout on this sheet metal part okay so what we can do is we can create a contour flange here uh, with this type of profile and then we will create a tube 
and then we will make a intersection curve using that intersection curve we will make a cutout in this particular part so that's also we are going to see and if you have a flange or something like this and you, even you can make a cutout on those flanges like this using the normal cutout examples okay yes so in the normal cutout uh, what we can do is we can just create the sections the normal cutout uh, profile and then we can simply uh, make a cutout on these flanges right let's see all this um, the normal cutout and if there are uh, intersecting component how we can use the intersection curve to make the cutout and if there are multiple flanges how the normal cut behaves and these informations uh, we will see now in the enactment. 